Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to do another manicure. I've got my nails already painted. I have started off with Danny Digit's Glitter Be Gone, and I will apologize for the noise. We've got laundry going on, air conditioners running, so excuse the noises. And then next, I have this Milani as my base color, and this is Thai Tea, which is kind of interesting. My nickname at work is Tea, so... That is a gorgeous color. I had to get this because Sylvia over at Hell of a Nails was talking about it and I needed it. So we have that one now. Thank you, Sylvia. And I have topped it all off with a posh top coat. Now, before we get started, I want to show y'all. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but I have messed up my polish right here on the tip of this one and also smooched it on my thumb. So I'm going to show you how I fix those. I just take a, this says pure acetone, but it's not pure acetone, it's just acetone. And I'm going to dip it over and get it on my finger and just tap, tap, tap. And that helps smooth it out. And if it's really bad gas, you might want to put another coat on top, but it does salvage to where you don't have to start all the way over. And I'm going to do it again for my thumb. Just kind of tap, tap, tap. And it just kind of remelts that polish. So you're going to want that, that to fully dry, all the way dry. And if you're planning on just wearing it as a manicure, you will want to put another coat of top coat on. Just a little trick. Okay, now that I've shown you what I've got going on on my base. This beautiful, beautiful color. It's kind of a neutral kind of color in my world. But I'm going to be stamping today with this Nicole Diary polish. It's just a brown. And it's numbered NS13 very pretty. I'll be using my Faber Nail Scraper and my Bundle Monster Monocle Stamper. Here it is. See? And today I'm going to be using this You Are Beautiful plate number 15. If I can get it to show up without glaring too bad. Number 15. And I've decided to go with this little heart, open heart image over here. So let me get it all kind of lined up and we're going to get to stamping. Okay, here we go. We're going to do a take two on this one, and I'm not going to be as stingy with the polish this time. Maybe I'll get a good scrape out of it. There we go. Don't want to waste too much time. I want to get it kind of centered. There we go. Pretty good. Not dead on center, but that's okay. I'm going to let that one roll. And we're going to clean this plate off and do it some more. And this plate is getting kind of yucky. This is a very pigmented polish, so it will look kind of gross. But I'm not cleaning it to put it away. I'm just cleaning it to get to the next good pickup. I really like that open heart because you can totally see the color underneath. Very nice. All right, let's keep on rolling while it's going good. And I would like to thank my friend who turned me on to these Nicole Diary polishes. She knows who she is. I want to thank you very much. I really have enjoyed them. There we go. We got another one done. Ta da! Okay, guys, my phone is buzzing. Sorry about right that. Um, we had some severe storms roll through last night, so people are checking on us, and we've been checking on people and getting updates. And I think there was a tornado actually somewhere in our town, and just high winds and thunderstorms. So. Anyway, we're trying to keep an eye on our neighbors, and uh, thankfully so far everybody I've checked with has done really well. And that one almost isn't big enough for the heart, so we're just going to let that roll the way it is. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, we're, gonna we're do back. We're going to do our little tape trick and try to get as much of this off with the tape instead of having to use so much acetone or nail polish remover. This is coming up really well. So far, the Nicole Diaries have done really good on this. I'm always, always pleased when I can get it up like this. So much easier on our cuticles. There we 
go. Got a little piece over here on my thumb. It's looking pretty good. I'm digging it. it looks like we're going to escape having to use the cleanup brush today, people. My friends. There we go. Just a little bit more and we will head on to some top coat. There we go. Awesome. Love it, love it when it works out that way. Okay, let's get some top coat on these. Okay, we're right going to finish this one off with some Posh top coat. Um, I do have two favorite top coats. Posh is, of course, one of them, and the other one is The Girl on the Run by Pure Ice. So, we're going, today we're going to use Posh. And I really really loved how this one turned out. You guys know I'm all about the pink and the purple and the bright and the wow and in your face and all that, but this is just really pretty. I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone and use more stamping polishes other than white, black, and gold and silver. I'm trying to use some of these other colors that I own. Look how pretty that's looking. And I'm being sure to cap those ends. I hope this one doesn't end up being too long. Sometimes I get a little long-winded when I'm doing just live straight videos. See, when I do my voiceovers, I'm able to, you know, trim things down and keep them with, within a, you know, reasonable amount of time. And here we go. Orange wood stick. So hoping you like this one. I really do like this. I like the two different colors, the two tones. And that image is really cute. So, there we go. We're all done. This is it. This is my final mini. So that is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about it. And that is all I have for today. Until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.